everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. It is time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 400. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I never would have believed that. Never in a million years when I started doing this and I only could be on I could only do a 15-minute video. Boy, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Did I ever think we were going to get to a 400th YouTube class? But I'm so excited and I'm so grateful and so thankful to all of you because this really is an achievement of all of us. I would not be doing this if you were not there. It, 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 for me to do this, it takes you. <laughs> So you have to share in this accomplishment with me because it was a team effort and there is no I in team. <laughs> There's no I in scrapbooking made simple. There's no I in Stacy. <laughs> There's no I in we and we did this together. All of you watching for all of these years has kept my little YouTube channel going and gratefully our business going. So again, Thank you. Pat on your shoulder, pat on my shoulder. We did it together. Wahoo kachoo. <laughs> now, I do have winter winter chicken dinner to talk about. I do not have an update as to the warehouse sale. The girl who does the order filling, she left a little early today. Her son is graduating high school. Okay, so I knew her son when he was nowhere near high school. So it's just, time just rolls on. You know, I have seen, I've seen moms come in here pregnant with their babies and now their babies are in high school. That's how long our little store downstairs has been going. It is, it has been an amazing journey and and to watch kids literally, when I opened the store, my boys were two and three years old. And two and three, three and four, and, and, and our customers have seen my kids grow up here in the store. It's just humbling. Really, it really is. And so amazing that we're so fortunate to share each other's lives like we do. And I know that I'm talking to a camera, but not really, not really, am I? No, we're sitting there having coffee on a Saturday morning or a Wednesday night when you couldn't sleep or maybe a, 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 a Friday afternoon where you just got off work and it's been a rough day or, you know, whenever you get the chance to watch, but we've always, we've always done this together. It's always been, it's always been you and me together and that's how it's going to stay. So I have winner winner chicken dinner to talk about. These are our winners from last week who posted a comment last week and our software randomly selected them. I'm just looking at the names now. One of them's easy peasy, the other one, not so bad. I think I can get through it. Both of these lovely ladies have won $25 gift cards and it's already in their account. Now for this YouTube, this YouTube, I have a little something special for our giveaway. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna announce these winners and then we'll talk about that. All right, our first winner, winner chicken dinner from last week is Teresa, Teresa Ballweber. Oh, I hope I said that right. Hello, Teresa, is that you? Cause if it is, <laughs> 400 is your lucky number. <laughs> You are a winner, winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And there is a $25 gift card already in your online account. Now, our second winner, winner is Barbara. Barbara Holmes. Hello, Barbara. Is that you? Because you are also a winner, winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And you too have received a $25 gift card that is already in your online account. And before I tell you what our prize package is for YouTube number 400, I want to let Mark, SMS guy Mark, know that, that um, so he was a winner, winner chicken dinner, but he wanted to gift his money to 
somebody that he has met on our live chats on Saturday morning, Bev Ann. So I know we sent him back an email. Mark, we gifted Bev Ann the $25 and that $25 is in her online account. And Mark, of course there's $25 in your account too. When somebody does something so selfless, they have to be applauded and, and rewarded and, and thought of and thanked. So, <laughs> so Bev Ann, in case Mark didn't reach out to you, you've got $25 to go spend, honey. Go spend it any way that makes your heart happy. It's winner, winner, chicken dinner all the way around. Okay, let's do our winner, winner, chicken dinner dance. Are you ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. How do you get a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner? Well, you have to subscribe. There's a heart right there. Just run your mouse over it and subscribe to Scrapbooking Made Simple's channel. Then you post a comment down there. Live chat comments that are going along the side. Live chat comments, they, they don't count. You have to literally post a comment below and the comment can be anything you want it to be. Well, not this week. This week it has to be something specific. Usually I say it can be anything you want it to be as long as it's polite and does not reference my, my, my personal attributes because my gosh, you could go back to YouTube number one. Well, there wasn't even numbered back then. In the beginning, they weren't even numbered, but you could go all the way back and I was a little bit skinnier and my hair was a little bit shorter and then my hair was a little bit longer and I was still a little bit skinnier and then I was a little, my hair was a little bit shorter and I was a little bit rounder and now my hair's a little bit longer and I'm a lot rounder, but <laughs> that's life, baby. <laughs> the history of Stacy through her YouTubes, you can see all my ups and downs. So <laughs> now this week, this week, what do you have to post? Because normally I say you post whatever you want as long as it's kind and we'll approve it. This week, I have taken a couple suggestions and I have tied them all together in a big bow. I'm going to tell you, I am not going to approve any of the comments until right before we're ready to pick winners. That way you can't see what everybody else has written. <laughs> okay, so we need I, for a chance to be a winner winner chicken dinner this week what do you have to post two things you have to post a joke a ha ha joke so we had we had a ha ha joke a couple weeks ago by denise and then we got another ha ha joke and oh it's escaping me who told it to us it was uh why why did the uh why did the tomato blush at the salad? And it was because the salad, she saw the salad dressing. You get it? Why did the tomato blush when, when she saw the salad? Because she saw the salad dressing. Ha ha. I mean, it was funny. It was really funny. So, so in this YouTube 400, you have to post a joke. Keep it clean. We're a family channel. And I'm not going to approve them because I don't want you to copy everybody else's joke. you got to come up with your own joke. And at, when we're ready to pick winners, I'll, I'll approve them all. And then everybody can read everybody else's joke. But on top of that, you have to help me decide how to give away $400 in gift cards. Should we do one winner, one $400 winner? Should we do two $200 winners? Should we do four $100 winners? Should we do eight $50 winners? Should we do one $200 winner, one $100 winner, and a couple $50 winners? How would you like to see that money spread out? And we'll pick who, we'll pick a random winner and who, whatever they said is what we're gonna do. <laughs> And of course, they will be one of the prize winners. <laughs> so not only do you have to post a joke, you have to tell me how we should divvy up $400 in SMS gift cards. And well, gosh, oh, do we spread it out and only do $25 gift cards? I don't know. Just depends upon what you think. You post your suggestion and next week, Next week, I will let you know 
<laughs> I'll let you know what was decided. And who knows what jokes I tell. I'm sure there'll be some hilarious ones. So that's what's going on for our 400th YouTube. I also have a free gift for everybody. Anybody who places an order, doesn't even have to be anything from this YouTube, but anybody who places an order has a free gift from Scrapbooking Made Simple and Ozzy Andrew and Couture Creations. He's sent me over a few little odds and ends <laughs> to stuff in your little packages so that there's a little something something there and again it doesn't matter if you order anything from this YouTube it just has to be during this week and uh, and a big thank you to Ozzy Andrew for his support all of these years holy smokes artichokes all right so I'm going to tilt down and I'm gonna get started for today I've got a lot to show and a lot to share and and it's a fun YouTube, and this YouTube is for everybody. There's no die cutting involved, very little stamping. This is about playing and and thinking, I can do that, and really? Yes, really. And so, and even taking a little bit of what we did last week and going a little bit further with it. So, I'm gonna tilt down, we're gonna get started for today. It's so good to see you. It really is so good to see you. I'm just blessed beyond belief. All right, down we go. Bye. Now we have to count down to 500. <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute, we just got to 400. I know, but girls gotta have a goal. <laughs> All right, girls gotta have a goal. <laughs> Gosh, can you imagine how old I'll be? That's like, so if I do 50, YouTube's a year. That's two years away. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to think about it that way. <laughs> All right. Look at the beautiful samples. I have new Simply Defined Kaleidoscope layering stample says <laughs> layering stencils for you. I'm looking at the stamp going, and I have new versus stamps for you. <laughs> well, since we don't edit and we don't retake, you get what you get. <laughs> you could make blooper reels out of my non editing YouTubes. <laughs> Look at this one. Yes, this is a stencil, a layering stencil, a simply defined kaleidoscope layering stencil. And that sentiment is versus. And look at the embossing on that. That was done with Stampenda's detailed embossing powder. That looks amazing, doesn't it? So I have two new stencil sets. I have two new versus sets. I have got ink from Lavinia that we're going to play with and Technique. Technique is the most important thing. So let's get started, shall we? All right, I think I'm going to start with the Lavinia ink. Lavinia is a company that is in the UK. They are known for their, their fairy, mystical, magical type stamps, not necessarily for their inks. The inks are kind of new to them. And they used to use Tracy, Tracy used to use, she's the owner, amazing, amazing talent, amazing talent. And her husband, Kevin, she used to use Tim Holtz inks all the time when she would demo and YouTube. And I think she wanted a palette of her own. I've got two more here, but uh, she wanted a palette of her own. So she went out and had her own inks manufactured. They are a dye-based ink. They're meant to go, I think she went with colors that really speak to her because again, Lavinia stamps are very fairy and whimsical and mystical and, and the, the look of them lends to these colors and that's what she manufactured, colors that work well with her main core of product. But my gosh, these are beautiful inks. Do you have to own them? No, they're a dye-based ink. So they're similar to a Distress ink, an Oxide ink, a Memento ink, 
uh, uh, Stampin' Up ink, but they are a little different because of the colors that she's gone with. I want to go ahead, I'm going to put these back here. I want to go ahead and pull over a piece of paper because something unique about their inks is, um, is this. Watch, ready? Okay. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> is that crazy? Okay, a lot of inks don't do that. And because it's a dye-based ink, it dries instantaneously. I mean, that's that's craziness. Um, let's pick. So some of these are some of these when you do that are so dark. These are juicy, but look at that coverage, and they dry like I said. So Super fast. Amazing. And you can see that the colors are toned a little, I, I want to say they're toned warmer and a little darker. They're not cool, bright colors. They're deep, rich, jewel type colors that she has comprised of her collection. And they don't have to stay this dark. In fact, when we use them, they're not going to be this dark at all. Look at that. I mean, the colors just, they're just, oh, it's an SMS YouTube. <laughs> there go the fire trucks. <laughs> so, so do you have to buy these? No, you, you don't. Everything we're going to do today, you're going to be able to do with any ink you want. I just have fun doing that. <laughs> okay, so very juicy, very much like a Distress ink, and made by Lavinia, who is known for their, their stamps. And if you do any type of fairies or mystical or magical or, you know, the foresty, then Lavinia really is a company that you should look at. We carry all of their stamps and they really are beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Now, seeing that, I think we're gonna start with, I think we're gonna start with this stencil. So Simply Defined is my brand here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And you can only get it at Scrapbooking Made Simple. I do layering stencils, and they're called kaleidoscope layering stencils. They are comprised of three stencils that when you layer them together, make a stunning, beautiful pattern. But they don't always necessarily have to be used together. Uh, there's opportunities to use them just on their own, and this is one uh, one really good example of stencils being able to be used just on their own. So, if I put the three together and make a pattern, it's going to look like one thing, but I can take just the first two stencils and put those together to stencil, or I can take stencil one and stencil three together, or stencil two and stencil three. I'm going to play with these for just a little bit so you can see what it is I'm talking about. And I am going to use the Lavinia inks. So I'm going to start with stencil one. And this is your foundation stencil. This is the one that you uh, lay down first. And God, we don't, we don't mark them, but you absolutely can take a Sharpie and you can um, certainly do number one on it so you know. Um, and that way you know what la what layer to go in. So this is number one. I'm going to tape it down and I'm going to ink it. Now I do put tabs on my stencils. I do put tabs on my stencils, making the taping down process a little easier. So I can tape down my tabs and then I always tape down opposite tabs on either side. So let me show you. Nope, out. Oh. 
So opposite tabs. So I've got my lay my stencil down there and instead of there's no tape there and there's no tape there. So on the diagonal here and then top and bottom. Now I don't put any tape over here because I use these as my alignment grids and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to start by using a light color. I'm going to use the yellow and I'm going to grab my little blending brush here, which is by Couture Creations. Yes, they come with the little hats. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> they retail for $5 each and we have them on sale for four bucks each. And this is the large size. I love the little hats that they come with. So I'm going to use the yellow because this is a layering stencil and I always want to start with my lightest color first and then build my color. If I were to start with a black down here first and then try to layer my yellow on top of the black, well, the yellow is going to just absorb right into that black color and you will never ever see it. So I'm going to start with my lightest color first and put a little there and I'm just going to go on in. Now, I don't mind if there's highs and lows. So I like my stenciling to have darker areas, lighter areas, because I'm trying to build depth perception. If everything is just flat, all the same color, all the way through, there's no depth in that, in that uh, design. It just, it will just look like a flat piece of paper and we're trying to give the illusion of something else. We're trying to make it look much more vivid, much more vibrant. We're trying to give it some texture. So, I don't mind that I've got highs and lows there. Now I'm gonna put that there and put this here and I'm gonna peel this up and everybody will be so proud of me because I'm going to save my, my tape. Okay. So there's stencil number one, which can be used all by itself. You don't have to do anything more than that if you don't want to. But let's layer my stencil number two. And I can go in and write number two on it and then tape it down. And because I went outside the lines, I can easily layer, I can easily line this right up. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. Let's move stencil number Oh, no, that's not stencil number two. That's stencil number three. Ha! Ah, okay. Alcohol, please. Little alcohol. I wrote stencil number two on stencil number three. Nope. Poof, like it never even happened. This is stencil number two. Yes, that's stencil number two. So let's write stencil number two on it. I probably should have wrote my numbers before I started. Hello, Stacy. Number two. Okay, and now I'm gonna line it right up and I'm gonna choose some colors that you may go, mm, I don't know if I would do that. I wanna choose some colors that are substantially different so that when we're all done, you'll be able to see the different layers of the stencil. When we actually play play, then I will show you, then I'll use more appealing colors, <laughs> but I really wanna, and it's really not, like, oh, well, we'll see what I pick. Who knows what we'll get. All right, so I've got myself all taped down, and I think I'm going to pull, I think I'm gonna pull a purple, like a mulberry. And let's grab my purple here and kind of tap into my brush, right into my 
my ink, give a little tap off. Ooh, that's actually pretty. Love that. Okay, and right over my yellow. And I'm going right over my yellow. And it's up to me how heavy I want in any areas and how light I want it. The point is I want to cover the whole thing up with ink. Wow, there's really something going on. There's another fire truck. And he's in a hurry. All right. Well, you can tell that we're on a main street here in Canyon Country. <laughs> My office is right on the main street. Boy, I hope it's nothing local, like, like in our parking. No, he's going on. Okay. Well, let's all give a thought for wherever he's going, a prayer, right? Okay, I've covered it up. So now I've got stencil two on top of stencil one. Peel off my, my tape. I know so many of you are so proud of me right now. And look at what I've got. Right? Cool. But I still have one more stencil to go. Stencil number three. And the ink, this is just a baby wipe. So I can wipe off my stencils with just a baby wipe. You can see that it's coming clean with just a baby wipe. This one would be better if I sat it down and did it. But from yellow to clear, just a baby wipe. The inks from Lavinia are a dye-based ink, so they're water-based. Cleans up nice. Now the Merlot Mace, is it Merlot that I used? Uh, mulberry, the mulberry I used. It may leave my, my stencil a little stained, but an unstained stencil is an unloved stencil. Now let's take number three and let's write number three on here. Number three. And then let's line that right up on top of my one and my two. And I think I'm going to use like a blue to do this one just to see. So we'll have a yellow and a purple and a blue, colors that are like stark from each other that, that will contrast so you can see the difference. Let me grab my blue with this little hat on and let's pull a blue from over here. This is the Blue Lagoon. Okay. Up and here comes more fire trucks. Holy smokes. So I'm just going over the whole thing in my blue. good. Okay. So I've now started with stencil one in the yellow. I layered with stencil two in the mulberry and I'm finishing with stencil three in a blue. Let's see what we got. I've made very pretty washi tape <laughs> in the process. <laughs> Ooh, 
What do you think? Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Holy smokes, artichokes. Now let's just trim this guy on out. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that white border around it because I like it with the white border. Talk about easy lineup. Easy stenciling. And the effect is, I think, pretty spectacular for $9.99. All three stencils, $9.99. Okay, so let's move that one there. What do you think? You saw how easy it was to do that. You saw, I started, I started with the yellow. And then I came back in, and the second one hid all that yellow, and let me put down the purple. And then the third one, again, added my corners and more depth. So before we started, I went ahead, well, for the girls, for the SMS girls, I thought it would be better if I did for them a cheat sheet. So I put down stencil one and stenciled it. And here it is, stencil one. Then I took stencil one and stencil two and there they are together because maybe that's what you want. You don't always have to use all three stencils together. Then I took stencil number two. There's stencil number two all by itself. Then I took stencil number three. There's stencil number three all by itself. Then I took stencil number one and three. And there it is and then stencil number two and three. And there it is. And then stencil one, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, you have options. Oodles and oodles of options. It is up to you what you wanna make out of these stencils. You get all three of them. So you get to choose how detailed, how embellished do you want it to look? Do you just need a simple background? Wouldn't it be pretty to put little bling inside all of those and make a simple background? Maybe you just need something that, that is a kind of, it kind of disappears to the back. Gosh, that's beautiful. Maybe you like the, the uh, more embellished look, but that's just one stencil. That's just stencil number three in one color. Maybe you like it with the boldness with the yellow behind, but maybe you don't. Maybe you just want stencil two and three together. Oh my gosh, you make the decision. You could sit there and do nothing but make combinations and colors. And in front of the TV set, because there's no die cutting and there's no stamping, you get your TV tray out, you get your three stencils, get some paper and just start making backgrounds and just start mixing them up and layering the colors however you want. Just know you always start with your lightest color first and then build. So if I was just doing stencil number one and two, put those there. If I was just doing stencil number one and two, let's tape that down. So stencil number one. Ah, I feel it, there it is. I'm getting better at feeling where it is. Stencil number one. 
And I do that real quick in, let's say, well, you know me, I always like to start with a yellow because it just goes with everything. So I lay down a quick yellow. I'm not really thinking about it, giving too much rhyme, too much reason. I just want to lay some color down. I'm obviously not taking my time because, well, my YouTubes are already two hours as they, as they are. <laughs> so it can be done just as fast as this. There's stencil one. Bam. What if we did stencil one and stencil three? So there's my stencil one. Very pretty. But let's grab, you know what, let's grab stencil three. That would be fun. Uh, hello, stencil three, where did you go? One, two. How could I lose something already? Is that even possible that I did? One, two. All right, well, it's here somewhere, but I don't see it. Let's mark this one, stencil three. How is that even possible? Number three. Let's play number three over the top. And see where those tab lines are, where these tabs are? I just have to fit that right in. And I know I'm lined up. If you can see where the stencil was left off, if you can see the white, you know you need to just push it in until you line it up. And let's put my little tape down. One, two, three, four. There has to be something serious going on. I want to start over again so I can stop and go look, but I know <laughs> we're just gonna go. But I so wanna make sure that everything is okay. I worry. Okay, how about this beautiful blue? This is mermaid. Oh, yum. So my blue is blending into that yellow where the yellow still shows through. And I can make it as light or as dark as I want. All up to me. And I'm gonna make some of this really dark just so you can really see what I mean. I'm really going to get in there and I'm going to make that really dark just so you can see. All right. Stencil one and three. Look at how pretty is that? Look at how pretty is that? And really dark down here and a little lighter up here. But that's different than this one. This one, you incorporate three colors. Here, two. You have lots and lots and lots of options. Let's clean these off real quick. Take my tape and put it off to the side and maybe I can reuse it. I can cut this one out. You can see I can clearly see the line around. Now you may want to cut right up to the stencil, but I like it with the white border around it. To me it's just um, is a little bit, I, I don't know, it just adds an extra mat that it didn't have before. Alright. 
Okay. Oh, stencil three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, now I have two stencil threes. <laughs> I knew it couldn't have gone too far. I haven't moved. <laughs> but options are plenty with this. Absolutely. All right, let's take it and make it a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more with it. I'm not gonna change into the other stencil yet. I'm still gonna use this one, and I said okay, I'm gonna use the back side of this paper. Let's grab the mirror plate that we used last week. So this is a mirror plate. It's by Stampendous. It is not a jelly plate. It is different than a jelly plate. First off, it's made of the same product that clear stamps are made from. So this is basically just a giant clear stamp is, is what it is. Um, jelly plates are much more jiggly wiggly. I don't know how else to say it. They're much more jiggly wiggly. They've got much more gush. I mean, you can really gush them. Where this is definitely more dense and the material that they're made with is completely different. A gel plate, you normally would lay down a bunch of color and then take a blank stamp or a blank stencil, lay that down, kind of press it into it, pull it up, and then lay your paper down to make a gel press. That's typically what you do with a gel press, or you would take a stamp and stamp into it, not a, a plain stamp with no ink on it. You would stamp into it on a gel plate and then put your paper over it and it would transfer the image, all the beautiful ink that's still left, and then a negative space of where you stamped. A mirror plate is the exact opposite. A mirror plate you need to stamp on and that color needs to stay there so then you can transfer it to paper. Totally different things. Can you use a gel plate to do a mirror, a mirror transfer, a mirror stamp? Yes, you can. You have to try though. For some people it is just too jiggly wiggly and when you push down into it you mush your stamp because the gel plate just wants to kind of mush. And so, and that's great when you're doing, when you're doing um, gel press, you know, backgrounds, that's fabulous because you want it to kind of mush and all that ink kind of moves everywhere. But when you're stamping, you need that stamp to stay in one spot. Now, this is one that we have ruined. A mirror plate looks like this. It's clear when you get it. It will eventually turn colors. It will eventually have some different shades of whatever ink that you're using. However, this one, this one also has a llama on it. And the reason it has a llama on it is because we stamped with, let's get the thankful out so you can really see it. We stamped with India ink on it. Not all ink is meant to go on a mirror plate. Memento ink works beautifully. The Lavinia ink works very well, but an India ink, let's grab a, let's grab a block. An India ink from Hero Arts, which is a beautiful black ink that we use all the time. My gush, well, I won't have to, I'm gonna mirror it. So I'm not gonna ruin this one, I'm gonna ruin this one. So my India ink, I'm gonna ink up my stamp. And you should be able to take this on paper and a gush and, ooh, yeah. I'm just gonna stamp this, just so you can see. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Okay, stamped image. So a mirror plate would give you the reverse of that image. So if I ink this up, and 
then I stamp on my mirror plate. And I pull up. You should be able to take that mirror plate, put it onto your paper to make a mirror image. We did this last week. It doesn't work well with text because obviously we don't want a mirror image of text unless you want somebody to hold it up to a, a mirror and actually read it. That would kind of be cute and clever to a happy birthday where they have to hold it up to the mirror. But India ink does not work well. India ink does not make a well uh, the transfer well and India ink will stain your mirror plate. Absolutely. And alcohol will not do it. Alcohol will not get it off. So you have to check what inks you have does it ruin your mirror plate? No, it doesn't. I could certainly go in there and stamp with something else and transfer it over. No. Can you use this in a stamp press? Well, you can. I, I, you, you can. So you could put it in your stamp press, ink your stamp, press this down to pick up the image, open it up, and then layer your paper over it. Sure, you can. Um, but you prefer to not have your mirror plate looking like, looking like this. And of course, because it stained this, it's also going to stain my stamp. Now, I don't mind that it stained my stamp because now I can actually read what it says. But if that bothers you, then use a Memento ink. Memento ink, perfect on this. Lavinia ink works perfect on this. Today though, today we're gonna use the mirror plate kind of like we did last week. I'm gonna, and I think I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use this one because I've got it and why not? I don't care that it's dirty. If you want to learn more about mirror plates, last week's YouTube 399 will give you a good all over, all over um, class about mirror plates. And, and they definitely are different than a gel plate. So Stampendous makes these, we love them. All right, so I'm going to take some of my Lavinia ink and I'm just kind of going to go here, there, there. And you can see it really gets on there. And then maybe I go here, there. And for good measure, maybe I just do a little here, a little there. Okay, so my mirror plate now has a ton of my Lavinia ink all over it. Oh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay, I'm now going to take my water and I'm going to mist this. And when I say mist, I don't mean like, ooh, a little mist. Oh, a little mist. I mean, let's get it wet. It's wet and I'm going to start rolling that ink into each other. Look at it. Look at it rolling into each other and all over. And if you need to add a little more water to make it roll, add a little more water. And I'm just going to move it all around. Look at it run. Isn't that great? There's no right, there's no wrong, there's no good, there's no bad. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna get a piece of my paper and I'm gonna go right over the top of that. Ready? Right over the top of it. <laughs> Yummy! Okay, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, right? Yay! I know. And then I just take my baby wipe and wipe off my mirror plate. So let's do that again in different colors. Let me remember. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. Oh, good. I'll, I'll be able to see which side to put it on. Let's grab. Um, I don't know. Let's grab 
some yellow. And maybe some darker yellow, maybe kind of a little, little bit of a brownie. And then red. And I'm going to clean up that little bit right there just so my hand doesn't get all over it. And then let's get our water, not alcohol, water water and then not a little oh I, i'm a little i'm a little warm outside i think i'll mist myself without my hair getting a muss no let's get in there jump into the pool and then let's let it start to run and move and there's no right and there's no wrong and you're never going to be able to duplicate it exactly. All you can do is let it be what it wants to be. All right, let's grab that paper and let's see. I don't know if the brown's going to work in there. We'll see what happens with the brown. Ready? Oh, let's turn it this way. And down. Super easy way to make backgrounds. I love it. They're so pretty. Now what do you do with these? Okay, well, easy peasy. Well, I'm going to wipe this off. Let's go back to our stencil. Let's go back to stenciling. And let's bring back stencil number one here on this one. Bring back stencil number one. It's a nice fit. Look at that. See? Good fit. I'm going to tape it on down. tape and tape and tape and tape and let's take let's take our yellow and go in and stencil so yellow the same yellow I used to do the background. This is Sundance. Same yellow that I put on my on my mirror plate. Let's go in there and let's just add some color. I'm just stenciling right over the top of what I just did with my mirror plate. Okay, let's peel it off. And look at what I've got. But what if we took stencil number two and put that over the top and taped it down I think that's pretty 
I think that's pretty good. Let's tape it down. Only this time I'm going to use that blue that I used. And I used Blue Lagoon. Used Blue Lagoon or Mermaid. Which one did I use? I don't remember. Oh, well, we're going to go with Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon, put my yellow. Grab my blue brush. So you don't need a brush for every color ink you own. You need a brush for every ink in a color family. So you need a blue for all your blues, one brush for all your blues, one brush for all your yellows, one brush for all your greens. You don't need, oh, I got a little water going on. You don't need a brush for pine and a brush for olive. You need one per color family, not per individual color. And as long as you have one per color family, you want to get the earlier color out, no problem. You just kind of go like that. You can wash them, absolutely. I'll be honest with you, I never wash mine. I just go. I wonder if that's the right color. Was it mermaid? <gasps> Okay, maybe we try mermaid, because now I'm not sure. So I didn't change my brush, I just changed my ink. So I'm only gonna do half of this one, just so you can see the difference. I suppose I could maybe even take the top one and what if I just came back over that with yellow what if I wanted to just come back with it so it's almost like a tone on tone on tone Oh, I'm off. I can tell you I'm off. That's not right. That's that's really wrong. I can see that I did not line it up. I did not line it up well at all. I've got my little marks here so I can see to line it up, and that was not good. This is much better. Okay, so I'm going to come back and do the whole thing yellow. Even though my blue is dark, I'm going to go ahead and try and do the whole thing in yellow and see what I get. So I'm going to bring my yellow back and bring over my, put my little hat on my dude, bring over my yellow brush, and let's go over the whole thing in yellow and see what we get. just leave that last row the way it was. Okay, so I left this last row the way it was. Just so you could see the difference. So here, there's no intricate design. There's, there's not that added little element of design. Down here, I didn't do the blue in the center. Here I've done the blue and the intricate design. And I started all of it by just making a beautiful, beautiful background. And an easy background. Let's take this. Let's. So I'm going to use stencil three. 
Oh, that, uh, this is stencil three. I'm going to use stencil three. And I'm only going to do stencil three on this one. I think. You know, maybe I'll use stencil two and three on this one. And let's see what we get. And on this one, I'm going to do maybe a brown. So let's tape it on down. And tape it on down. Aren't they happy? <laughs> I can't think of a better way to spend YouTube 400 than with inky fingers. <laughs> Some of you are like, yeah, I would have, um, I'd have gloves on to do this, but it's just because I'm into the ink. Okay, I know you're here. No? How hard can it be to find an end? There we go. And I think I'm going to make my little loop there. Okay, so let's tape this one down. I'm going to put this over here just so I have it later on. And let's do like a brown. So here they have truffle. Oh, but I don't have a brown. Well, we're going to make one. All right, Couture Creations, this is my new brown. Now I have a brown. Oh, that feels so nice. And in. And let's just go over. And you can make the color as light or as dark as you want just by how much ink you put down. This is stencil number two. I skipped stencil number one. It's in, in the entirety of it. I just skipped it. All right. Now, are all these brushes the same? Yeah, for the most part, they're all the same, regardless of what manufacturer you're getting it from. Some will last longer than others, and some bristles are a little bit nicer than others. Um, I think for the price, uh, Ozzy Andrews done a good job, being that they're $5 a brush or on sale for 4 bucks. I think that's a fair price. I'm not sure the quality you get from the dollar store on those, but all you can do is give it a try, and if you like them, great, and if you don't, well, it was a buck. But do they come with the little hats? I mean, the hats, everything. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off and hold my hold my tape, and I'm gonna use stencil number three now. So not bad. I don't, I kind of like it like that. But let's just use stencil number three because we can. And easy to line up. Look at all of those little browns show right through. Tape it on down. Uh, bring it down just a little bit and just over a little bit. When I say a smudge, I mean a smudge, but... there and there and there so white paper has become your new best friend because my gosh can you just make background after background okay put my yellow away and let's play with my red and this is the paprika and right over the top 
Now you may have liked the background just the way it was before I even stenciled it. <laughs> Good news is that's easy to do. Watercoloring made easy. I don't think I've ever seen watercolor backgrounds made so simple. All right, I'm only gonna do half of it. So I put the red on only half. And that's not all three stencils. There's just the one. There's, well, there's stencil two and stencil two and three. I didn't even use stencil one. I used stencil one over here. What do we think? Pretty darn easy peasy, huh? And do you have to use the Lavinia ink? No, no, you don't. Lavinia ink, I would buy because of the colors. I think that would be the reason that I would buy it. The colors are different than Memento inks or uh, Hero Arts inks because she went with a very specific palette, a very rich, deep, uh, jewel tone type colors that lend to the projects that they make at Lavinia. So if I put my little red hat back on, if I cut these out, For that matter, you don't even have to use the whole piece. You could cut this in half. I know honorary SMS girl Katie made a few samples for us and she only used a portion of her background and then she used the other piece on a whole nother card. But look at how pretty. And that background was easy peasy to make. Let's cut this one out. You can do this. I have not done anything technical, anything hard, anything that takes, well, as long as you mark your stencils one, two, three, <laughs> it does not take a great amount of thought. <laughs> but I have made some pretty beautiful things here. And it all started here. And now look at us. We're evolving. Who knew? Okay, so just one last time, I'm gonna make a background, just so you can see it one more time. I'm not gonna stencil on top of it, but I am gonna make a background. And let's do the, let's do the, maybe we just do blue and green. How about maybe blue and green with a hint of, mulberry. Who knows what we're going to get. May look yucky, may look great. It's not going to matter because it's on white paper and if you don't like it, stencil over the top of it. So some green, some blue, and maybe a little bit of purple. That was a lot of purple. I lost my green and my purple, but okay. It is what it is. Think long, think wrong. And I am gonna wipe up around the edges on my craft mat because this will end up getting all over me. Okay, pick it up. Spray, spray, spray. Not, oh, I'm feeling a little hot and I need a little slight misting, no. Everybody jump in the pool and then let them start to run. If it drips off, it drips off. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we get. Have no idea. Well, before I do that, Maybe I'll do something with it. All right, let's put it down and see what I got. I got a piece of tape in the middle of it is what I got. Oh no, but it's so pretty. How am I gonna fix that? Okay, oh my gosh, those colors are beautiful. A little bit of green. Can't believe that happened. A little bit of purple. Spray, spray, spray. I'm gonna try and fix my mistake. And. Nope. Darn it. Well, I still might use it. But that, look at that. Didn't that come out beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, but what if you only wanted a light color? What if you're saying, oh, Stacy, that's very dark for me. That's very too much for me. What if I just took a little bit of my yellow? Let me wipe this off. What if I just took a little bit of my yellow? Yellow, yellow, that's it, yellow, yellow. And maybe a little bit of a darker yellow. Yellow, yellow, that's it. And maybe, I don't know, what color's henna? Oh, that's really black. Uh, no, a little bit of truffle, truffle, truffle. Okay, so like I have hardly any on there compared to what I was doing. And let's go spray, spray, spray. Move, move, move. Roll into each other, move around. And let's see what I got. Although I'm kind of disappointed because I think this one is pretty darn stellar. I mean, I think that's beautiful. Okay. Oh yeah, look at how pretty is that. All right, we might use that for something. I'm gonna cut that out and keep that over here. And I'm actually gonna cut this one out too. Maybe I'll keep it for something. Can't throw it away until you do something. And then after you do something, if you still don't like it, okay. All right, so I'm gonna move on to my next stencil which is my floral. It's still a background stencil. It is still made up of three stencils. And this one you do want to write one, two, three. Absolutely, without question, you want to write one, two, three. Okay, so there it is. My first, my number one is the most open stencil. So number one. And I'm even going to tag the corner to tell me 
that that is always in the upper right hand side. Always in the upper right hand side. Then I'm going to grab stencil number two. And that should layer right on top. And I'm going to write two and I'm going to tag. And then stencil number three should cover everything up and you shouldn't be able to see once you put stencil number three on. Can you see how I can kind of see some of my craft mat coming through it? When you put stencil three on top, stencil three should cover everything and now you don't see any craft mat. And I'm going to tag my corner and I'm going to write three. So here's my stencil one, which just looks like a bunch of random little holes. My stencil two which is going to add a little more detail, and my stencil three which is going to finish it off. Let's start with stencil one. Let me grab some paper. I suppose we can use this one. And let's tape it on down. So I've got my number one and I know my little mark, wherever you mark it, I'm doing mine in my upper right hand corner. So if this was facing you, it's the upper right hand corner. You, you mark it anywhere that makes your heart happy. But that way I know which way my stencil always goes up without having to really think about it. And here. And Creature of Habit, grab from my yellow, yellow, go in, and I'm just going to stencil all around. all of those what will be flowers. You're like, really? I'm like, trust me. This is one stencil where stenciling it on its own, not so much. You can't do option after option after option with the third, with the stencil I'm using now. Can't do it. So it's meant to layer and make a completed image when done. Okay, I think that's good. Now I'm going to bring stencil number two. And stencil number two kind of looks like a mess. I mean, there's just, I don't know, let's see if I can get black paper. There's just cuts in it absolutely everywhere. Some look like leaves, some just look like, what the heck are they? Well, some of them are leaves and some of them are the element that you add to your flowers to give it a more floral look, to add more dimension to it. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to lay down stencil number two. So that's what I've got. Now I'm going to lay down stencil number two and line it up. And what you will see is that, oh, can you see what I see? Can you see that there's little openings in the centers of those flowers? Can you see that? Uh-huh. But then there's also all of this, these areas that are not um, on top of the yellow. Let me tape this down so I can talk to you about it without trying to hold it in place. Ah, wait. Okay. So now I've got this stencil and you can start to see the flowers, but can you see the opening 
that I'm going to be able to stencil into to add another color on top of those flowers. But then look at all of this. What is all of this that's just straight white underneath? Those are your stems and leaves. Oh, but Stacy, this is a big brush. How do I get in there and get one color just on the yellow and one color just on the leaves? Ha! Huh. Well, they do make these smaller. They do. But look at what I found. Okay, this is a normal dauber. This is what I use all the time. I mean, this is just, this is what I put the paste on with from Sizzix, the Luster Wax. This is the normal size. This is the same size as the Tim Holtz Ranger one. This happens to be the Aladine that we carry. But wait, can you say hello to Mini Me? Look at how cute is this? This is by a company called Crafts 2. Don't know much about them. I'm learning because this is stinking darling. Look at the difference in the size. Oh my gosh, total game changer. So, yes, it has the little refills. It comes, so the actual package comes with two and four of the little sponges. And you never get rid of the sponges. You just need a sponge again like your brushes. You just need a sponge per color family. That one's green. Let's make this one red. They Velcro down, but look at the size. It's a mini me. Oh my gosh, are they so cute. Okay, I only have so many of these. It's a brand new company from us. They, they, they weren't sure what to make of me, but we're, 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 we're trying. We're gonna start, <laughs> see what happens. So I'm gonna take the red. Put a little bit on there and then I can go in there and stencil everywhere I see that has an opening on top of yellow. Opening on top of yellow. I really do want to find out what's happened, but we're not going to stop. We're just going to keep going. So anywhere I've got an opening on top of yellow. Now, am I gonna get some perhaps in where my green's supposed to go? Maybe, but I'm okay with that. Opening on top of yellow. But it's so small. Okay, so everywhere that had an opening on top of yellow is now red. Then I'm gonna take and get my green. And everywhere that has an opening on top of white, I'm just gonna go green. Anywhere I see an opening on top of white. I'm gonna go green. Oh, there's an opening on top of red there that I missed. on top of white there. There's a red goes there. Joop. Jo there we go. <laughs> oh, I got green over here I missed. So see, it's white right there. Can you see that opening? It's white, so that's a green. Okay. I think I've got, I think I've got everything. So this little guy lets you get in there and do one stencil with multiple colors because I've got 
images that are openings that are meant to go on top of flowers and openings that are meant to be leaves. So let's open it up. Ah, it's getting there, right? Now, all we have to do is take stencil number three and put it right over the top. This really is very easy. And because you're using white paper, you're using white paper, you can, you can experiment, you can play with color, you can play with the layers and not feel badly. Because even if you play on white copy paper, just to get it the way you want it, Here's stencil number three, mark up in the, my mark is up in the corner. So now this is up to me. Do I want to leave this with just a white background or do I want to do a colored background? Let's see what we've got. Okay. I just have to, there just has to be something going on. I just don't, there it is. I just don't know what it is. It's not on the news yet, so I just looked at my phone just to see if I could figure it out, but it's not there, so we're just gonna keep going. So blue and my blue brush. So a little bit of blue, put my stencil three down and right over the top. I'm only going to do part of it so you can see the difference. And actually, I'm just going to let it fade out. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. What do you think? You can do this. You really can do this. So super easy. Beautiful, right? Okay, let's take it. I did this. Let's use it. Let's use it. So let's come back and let's put down my stencil one. I know this is totally unorthodox and maybe half of you are going to turn me off right now but this is my community and I don't know what's going on and I've never heard so many sirens in all my life I have to look I I cannot not look in fact I'm gonna just make a I know this is crazy I have I just there's a high school graduation going on right now I I, I have to know I have to be sure everything's okay. Come on, pick up. I'm calling because, and I'm still on camera. Say hi to everybody, Kim. Do you know why that the, the, there have been so many sirens? They have been flying down Soledad Canyon Road like. There's a fire on Solomon. Okay, okay. It's just there was a high. The Saugus is graduating tonight, and my, I just, okay, okay. I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna. Everybody say goodbye to Kim. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry, but 
that's what you get when you get me. I just, there's a fire, that's bad enough. There's a high school graduation going on and one of my employees is there with her son. And if something had happened, I mean, I just, whew. okay, so back to what we were doing. <laughs> Half of you have clicked off, but I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm upset about a fire, but I'm, I, I can live with a fire, sort of. Okay, so number one, stencil number one. Where are we gonna, what color do we wanna use? Um, what if we use the darker? Oh, and that's my blue, see? Uh, let's go into blue, blue, blue. Let's put it away and yellow, yellow, yellow. And let's get in there and make my flowers with the darker yellow that I used when I made my background. Okay. Well, now you really know we don't edit. you get okay yellow then red how about a little red and that I need stencil number two for so let's grab stencil number two and I've got my corner where I need it to be I need to tilt down more and zoom in more Okay, so I've got my little corner where it needs to be. All my corners are up on the top right hand side. Line it up, tape it down. And anywhere I can see the darker brown coming through because now I don't have a white background. I got rid of that white background by doing the color wash with my mirror plate. So now anywhere I can see that dark brown coming through, I have to make it another color. What if we used the, what if we used instead of red, what if we used the, the blue? Let's see what we get. Nope, and I'm not gonna use this either because if I do that, I'm gonna get it into where my leaves are gonna go. So let's bring it around. Open up. And on we go. And blue. And only where I see the darker brown, I'm gonna go over the top with a little bit of blue. only where I see the darker brown. Look at how nice that goes in there. Oh, and look at how lovely my fingerprint is, but that's okay. Now, remember I was telling you Ozzy Andrew, well, he's got a lovely little free gift for everybody. I have got beautiful bling that goes with every order. Okay. All right, I think I'm good. Okay, I think that's gonna be good enough. And then I'm just gonna grab, change it over, change to my green, bring over my green. This is pine. We'll try pine. And make some leaves and some stems. Is it possible that I got some of my blue in there? Sure it is, but that's okay. The colors are gonna blend and melt together beautifully. 
no matter what ink you use. They're going to melt together beautifully. Can you use a stays-on ink with this? No. Do you want to use a pigment-based ink with this? Probably not because when you layer your stencils on top, that pigment ink better be all dry. A dye-based ink is perfect because it dries so quick. It absorbs into the paper. It's meant to do that. So now I've got my blue, I've got my green. Let's see where we're at. Oh, the blue and the green kind of hard to tell the difference, but it's done. Could I go over and add a third color? Could I add my, my top piece? And I could, it's all up to you, but I like how I've got my background. I like how easy it is to make those backgrounds. It's just piece of cake. And it really just depends upon what you use. This is on a white background. This isn't. It's all about color choices and layering options and what works for you with white, white paper. You don't want to use your good white paper until you're happy with your color combination. Like I said, grab copy paper. It's okay. These are your, it's your play. You want to just experiment, experiment on inexpensive paper. Of course, then you might like it so much that you actually turn your copy paper into something. And again, one, two, One, two, and some green. Some green, and then I'm gonna tap off my green on here to get my color off. Ooh, pretty, okay. And then spritz. oodles and oodles of water. And let them run. Can you see it running? If it drips off, it drips off. No big deal. But you want that color to run into each other and to melt into each other. And see, I've got a little space right here where I'm just gonna take my finger and get rid of that. And then, take my paper and let's see what we've got. So pretty. There's one more thing I want to show you. One more technique I want to show you. Oh, and I don't even know how. Oh, Stacy, hold on just a moment. Boy, this has just been a. Uh, well, it's 400. It's one for the. <laughs> it's one for the. Uh, for the books. That's for sure. I'm gonna put that over there. I want to show you one more technique using the flowers. So, so far we have been doing it with some form of a background, whether it be the colored background or the white background, but the flowers have always been a color. What if you wanted the flowers to be white? Can we do that? Absolutely. What do we have to do? We have to not start with stencil number one. You're going to put that away and you're not gonna play with that at all. We're gonna start with stencil number two. So let's tape it on down. Gosh, you guys, if I've been distracted, I'm so sorry. I, I probably should have stopped and started again, but hmm, 
I don't know. I try not to do that. But I was just so concerned with all the all the commotion out there. And I care about my community. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so I need to put a color. This one's a little difficult. So I've taped it down, right? Stencil number two. And normally there'd be a colored flower under there so you would know exactly where to put your next color for your flower and you'd know exactly where the leaves are. But now since I've taped down stencil number two by itself, it's hard to tell. Give yourself the opportunity to take stencil number one, put it right underneath it, tape it down, don't color, and stencil number two right on the top. Line them up. You're like, I'm sorry, you lost me. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back, I promise. Okay. So, stencil number one is now underneath stencil number two. And it's making it so that's impossible. Impossible for you to put your leaves on your paper. The only opening that you're gonna see is for the flowers. That's the only opening you're gonna see. I'm gonna do this really fast and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do it again so you see it because I know this is a little, some of you are like, huh, wait a minute, come back to me, Stacy. you lost me on that one. So let me just get the finished look and then we'll, we'll, we'll what do they call this? We'll, re, we'll reverse engineer it. Oh, that was a big word. <laughs> we'll reverse engineer it. Okay, so let's take that, since I'm so into the mulberry, let's take the purple. And I'm just going to go Anywhere I see white paper, I'm going to go ahead and put my mulberry. Anywhere I see white paper. Anywhere I see that white paper, shoop. All right, and you can see where the marlberry is super dark. That's where it's on the white paper. Now I lift up and I pull my stencil one out. Layer back down. Line up, tape into place. And can you see on my stencil one where all the leaves are now in mulberry. Instead of transferring to my paper, I just stenciled on top of my stencil. Now we come back with our green. And let's get our olive green here. And anywhere I see white paper, I'm going to stencil anywhere I see white paper. And 
Yes, I didn't clean the purple off first. I know, it's fine. I'm not gonna clean my stencil until I'm done with both colors. And I could have made assorted flowers and had different colored centers, but. So anywhere. I see white paper. Okay. Are you ready? Let's lift it up. What do we get? You're like, I don't get it yet. I know. I know. Give me a moment. Move these over there. And the last one I'm going to do is the finishing stencil, the last stencil. And now it's going to cover up all of those leaves and all of those flowers. It's going to cover up everything I just stenciled, everything. It's going to hide it all so I can just do a background color. And let's get my blue and put my green lid on and let's use let's use the blue lagoon so now now i've got the last stencil on and it's covering everything up all the green that i've done all the purple that i've done it's covering up now I'm only gonna do half of it so you can see the half. And then I'm gonna do it again. Okay. So. This is what it looks like without the background. It doesn't look like anything. You can't tell what the heck it's supposed to be. That's what it looks like when you add the background. You've outlined those flowers in the blue so that the white paper now is your, it's your base color. You've now made white flowers without the blue Without the stencil number three, with the stencil number three. Without stencil number three, with stencil number three. Okay, let's do it again and let's do it super fast because I know it was complicated. So first thing first, let me wipe these down real quick. To make a white flower background, you're not gonna use stencil number one to actually, oh, did I do that? I did. You're not gonna use stencil number one to actually stencil. You're going to use that and have, so it acts kind of as a, um, an, a layering, a, a masking. So I'm gonna put stencil number one down, but I'm not going to stencil over the top of it. I'm not gonna add any color at all. None. Let me whip off a piece of this. Put it over here. Then I'm going to bring stencil number two. And let's wipe it down so it's not as dirty. It doesn't have all the green and the purple over it. Stencil number two. And I'm going to lay that right on top of my stencil number one and the my little pieces, my little um, telltale sign where I put a, a, a registration mark there so I know that, okay, it goes up into the right hand side. Now I lay that down over here and I'm going to tape it down. So my stencil number one is making sure that I don't get my leaves on my white paper. It's hiding them. Oh, let's get this down a little better. It's hiding them. Uh, 
Okay, so stencil number one down and then stencil number two right on top. Let's grab some color. This is blue, blue. Let's just do a pretty yellow one. Yellow, yellow. And instead of using my brush, I'm gonna come in with my little tiny yellow. And anywhere I see white paper is where I'm gonna put that yellow. White paper is what I'm looking for. I can go over the whole thing if I want. All it's gonna do is add that stencil, that yellow on top of my stencil number one. Anywhere there's white paper, I wanna make sure I have yellow. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay, yellow's down. Now I have to lift up and just, but it's no big deal because you can line it right back up again. Lift up and pull stencil number one out. And you can see where I've stenciled over the top of it where my greenery would go. Line it right back on up, easy peasy. Tape it right back on down. Mm, there. Tape it right back on down. And this time, do your green. So you're doing your stencil number two twice because you're doing it in two colors. this piece up and layer it right back on down. Okay, now I grab my green, again with my little one, which is so cute. Let's bring over, let's do pine this time. And anywhere I see white. So I don't wanna go over where I see yellow, I only wanna do where I see my white. Anywhere I see white. And if a little green gets on the yellow, so what? All right, so my green is on my white. I don't want to be able to see any white. So now when I look at it, I shouldn't be able to see any white coming through. Okay, let's see what it looks like, shall we? Peel it off. And that's what I've got. Kind of looks just like a mess. Nothing to it. The magic happens when you add the last stencil. That's when magic happens. It's, well, I'll do blue so I won't have to wipe it off at all. Let's peel that up and let's put that down. And the stencil should cover all that you've colored. Everything that you've colored should be hidden underneath the stencil. Take that down and let's just make sure that's down. Okay, so now everything I've colored is hiding underneath that stencil. 
and then you bring over the color that makes your heart happy to do your background. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some yellow and some blue. So let's do blue then yellow, yellow, let's do yellow then blue. Okay, yellow is right here. Let's do some yellow and then some blue. And I'm just gonna come in and go over the whole thing. And because I didn't clean my stencil, my blue is running into it a little bit and I am perfectly fine with that. And then let's start adding some blue to it. I'm blending that blue into it. And then maybe down here towards the bottom, I go really dark. And let those colors work together. A little bit of yellow. Okay, you ready to see what we got? That's what it looks like. What do we think? You saw how simple it was. You saw how easy it was. You saw that you don't have to be a master crafter to do this. And the price of the stencils are, I mean, they're amazing. They're, they're $9.99 for the three stencils. And you can use ink you already have. And then Ozzy Andrew has given us a gift to give to all of you, a free gift with every order, regardless if you get anything from this YouTube or not. Maybe you just need adhesive tape. Okay, you're still gonna get the free gift. He's given us a whole collection of bling and pearls. And look at this, look at the sizes on them. And look at how many you get. Oh my gosh, these are perfect for this YouTube. You're going to get whatever color and whatever. It might be a pearl. It might be a rhinestone. But to go in and then to add a little pearl into the center. Oh, my gosh, that looks so good. I hope that looks as good to you as it does to me. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you do have options. And I wasn't... I wasn't using a difficult method to do a, a watercolor background. You can't get much simpler than some ink and some water, spritz, 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 and then roll, 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 and away you go. Which do you like better? The good news is you don't have to choose. Maybe you like it just the way it was intended, white paper. Maybe you do like it on the watercolor background. Wait till you see the samples the girls have done on the water on a on the watercolor background we made with the weird mirror press. Maybe you like it with the white flowers. Maybe you like the watercolor backgrounds. And then taking the same ink that you made the background with to do the design. The same colors. Maybe you want to keep it clean and easy. Maybe you're looking for that very geometric look. 
wouldn't these be so cute right in the centers right in the centers of these so ozzy andrew wahoo kachu he's given me one for every order regardless if it's a youtube order an adhesive order some white card stock uh you needed some some uh gosh i don't know uh card bases you're still gonna get the free gift from ozzy andrew because this is Saturday with Stacy, YouTube class number 400. We did so much. Oh, see, I was playing. Look at, I was playing with this one earlier. Look at that. See, and here's with a really light blue background versus my totally different looks this looks like it's coming up out of the grass into the into the the sky oh my gosh i love this one i like this one too i did this one too but i really like this one all done with just our our simple easy no nonsense stencils and claire claire did a quick background so let's pick one um, so this one, let's pick this one. Claire did a super quick, I'm going to show you what Claire did. Um, she took the gel, well, the mirror plate. It's not a gel press, definitely not a gel press. She took the mirror plate, which is right here. She took a smaller piece of, or a piece of white paper, which is right here. Just cut it down to size, put my lids on because that's important. So I don't need a piece as big. So I did that with the yellow and the green and I think the mermaid. So let's do a little bit of the yellow. A little bit of the green. And a little bit of the mermaid there and let's spritz 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 and roll 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 and move 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 And I think I'm going to put this one right. Yeah, let's get some in there. I think I'm going to put this one right here. Pull it up. Oh, yeah. Matchy, matchy. Wipe down. Now, what she did is she took the stamp, she let it dry. I'm not gonna have time to do that, but she took the stamp and we have two new versus stamps. This one says, um, thankful, there's no gift so fine as, um, as the conscious act of grace and kindness. So thankful, there's no gift so fine as the conscious act of grace and kindness. That's a lovely sentiment. There's one in here that I absolutely adore. So the sentiment from verses are exclusive to us. They do, they do these sets just for us. And I love this one. To love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. I love that. And the only way to have a friend is to be one. That's so good. And, and this one is on this set and I love it. The, the thankful, there's no gift so fine as the conscious act of grace and kindness. That's just, it's just true. <laughs> so Claire, inked up her stamp. Let me grab my gush pad. And now hers was completely dry. I don't know what kind of an image I'm going to get because mine's not totally dry. Inked up her stamp. Stamped. One, two, three, A, B, C. Hopefully I get a somewhat of a decent image because the paper's still a little wet. Up. Oh. 
not bad for a paper being wet. You can see it. And then she took the stencil. And she could see her stamped image through it. So she taped it down. And she took her ink and stenciled over the top. Hello. Oh, we'll steal from Peter to pay Paul. Okay. So she took, I can see my stamped images right here. Can you see that? Can you see? It's right there. She took with her ink and stenciled kind of around the image. So not to cover up the image, not to hide it. But to add just a little detail. Oh, my paper's still wet. So that when she goes and mats it in black, you'll see the sample, it's beautiful. Oh, is that cut bad? Stacy, holy smokes, artichokes. thinnest little mat. Gosh, I could even make it smaller. But you go to mat and it's beautiful. So I would cut it down a little bit. It's a little still too a little big on the sides. I could get rid of a little bit here. I could get rid of a little bit here. Okay, Mr. SMS, I have made the trash can all day today. I'm not sure that that one's going to make it. But then you put it right on top. It's beautiful. Because you made the paper and you're just carrying that stencil over just a little bit and mat that and mat it to your, mount it to your card and wait till you see her samples. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, we have done a lot and I kind of, if I was a little distracted, I'm so very sorry. I was so excited to be here for YouTube number 400 and we just have to chalk it up as one for the books, but I really did need to find out what was going on. And I know that's kind of unorthodox and probably never done in anybody else's YouTubes, but it's me and I care and I care about my community and I care about my people and I care about my employees and I worry and I've never heard that many sirens go by unless it was something really big and it is, it's a fire. But I, I can find out about the fire when we're all done. Maybe I should have stopped and started all over again. Maybe that would have been the right thing to do, but well, you get what you get. <laughs> Let's see if I'm still here for YouTube number 500. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, the stencils really give you an opportunity to just play and just enjoy. Look at how gorgeous that, that's tone on tone on tone. What makes your heart happy? Maybe none of this did, and maybe you're like, wait a minute, no, 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 too much, too much. I like just simple. I like just simple. Well, guess what? You can have just simple. 
you can do this. And you get a free product when you do. <laughs> so free goodies from Ozzy Andrew. We're gonna give away $400 worth of gift cards. You have to post a joke and how you would like the breakdown of the $400 gift cards to be. What do I have on sale? Well, I've got the, the Lavinia ink pads. And again, you don't need to buy these. I know that sounds so counterproductive from a, a, a retail store saying you don't need to buy these. If you have inks that you're happy with already, the only reason why you're buying these is because of the colors, because they are, they're rich and they're royal and they're deep and they're warm. And um, the, the, the hues to them are different than any other ink I've ever used. Not that the ink is necessarily different, but the colors of the inks are definitely different. So you're gonna buy these because you love the colors, not because you need more ink. Okay, so we've got all of those on sale. I will have the medium and the large from Couture Creations, the, the brushes. I've been using the large all day. The medium is rather nice. He does both sizes. They're $5 and then they're on sale for a YouTube Yummies. And I will do our new super cute little mini me and the refills to go with it. Again, it is like nowhere near the size of the one we're used to using. It's just a little mini me, it's so cute. I've got the mirror plate that will stay on sale, which allowed us to do all of those beautiful, beautiful backgrounds. So pretty, the mirror plate. Not a gel press, not a gel press, not made of the same thing, doesn't jiggle as much. Can you use a gel press? You'll have to try. I find it hard because my stamped image smushes because you're, you're doing an opposite of what gel press is known to do. That you're, a, mirror, a mirror plate does the exact opposite of what a gel press does. So gel press, I've got the two versus stamp sets. These will be on an I want it all or you can buy them individually love 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 the sentiments love 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 um let's see acts of kindness warm the heart soothe the soul and make the world turn uh, even more gently your kindness leaves me speechless thank you thank uh, the thank you there's no gift so fine as the conscious act of grace and kindness love 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 and i love to love and be loved is to fill the sun from both sides. I love, love, love that. Um, let's see. Okay, I love this one too. Just because I love you, that's why. That's what it says, just because I love you, that's why. So these will be on sale, they'll be an I want it all and you can buy them open stock to be just like one over the other. And then my stencils, again, they're $9.99. I can't go any lower, lower than that. You get all three stencils in each set to do the layering. And there'll be an I want it all for these, or you can buy just one. And then we'll include all the previous stencils that we've done prior to. Okay, let's talk samples. Showed you this one in the beginning. Beautiful, right? And here, this one on black with embossing powder as the centers of your flowers. Get out that Versamark. Hello. Because I love you, that's why. That's what that sentiment down there says. Because I love you, that's why. And that's enough. Here's my thankful. Look at how striking and bold and vibrant that is. Here's my flowers. So soft, so elegant. Here's my background, not using all of them with the ombre color coming down. So it ombres in the green all the way down.
To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Verses are always great. Their sentiments are always amazing. Look at this one. How beautiful is that? The sentiment stamped right on top of it. Acts of kindness warm the heart, soothe the soul, and make the world turn more gently. So this, hmm, I'll have to see if I can find it. This is an extra piece. Nope, not to that one. We'll find it. So honorary SMS girl Katie made this and she only wanted a certain, she only used a certain portion of the stencil, of the full stencil on another card and then she took the extras and used it here. We'll find it. So I'm gonna set that one there until I do. Look at this. So stamped on vellum. And the thank you. Look at the detail in that. And Claire just chose the most perfect paper ever for this. You don't need any more than that. It, it, it's beautiful, Claire. And then here, this is the sample where she did two pieces of paper, stamped her sentiment, did the stenciling around it. Look at how clever is that and how easy is that? And here, look at, who wouldn't love to get that card? Look at how simple and easy, just using one of the three stencils here. Oh, I found it, found it. Okay, so honorary SMS girl Katie did this one. She used a portion of it, but the leftover she did here. So one stencil, one, one, one A2 stencil, two cards. <laughs> and I think she might have done it with this one too. So let's hold on to this one. Okay, so she stenciled. Let's hold on to that one. Look at how pretty. And Claire did the watercolor background on this one with the Sizzix opulent paper. Again, just using one. And in the reverse of it. Do I have that? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I was right. So, SMS girl, honorary SMS girl Katie also did this card. It's got the thank you. And this piece is the leftover from this piece. So, <laughs> you could put them together and those two pieces would make what she stenciled. So she took two, got two cards out of one. Great guy cards. And then so simple and so pretty in pink. And then last, I do have two layouts. I'm gonna show this one first because you can't use these for layouts. Well, hello, yeah. I'm so glad the fire engines have stopped. Look at how beautiful is the layout and the coloring, oh my gosh. So she found this paper. Chances are this is uh, um, Chow Bella maybe. Look at look at the embellishments. It's paper. Who says layouts can't be just paper? 
you've got your stamps, you've got your, so your sentiments, you've got your matting for your pictures, you can add a little journaling if you want to. But the colors, and because you have ink, you can make it match. Oh my gosh, yes. And then this one, this one's a little bit of spectacular. So, from here, from here down is a piece of pattern paper that we had in the store. She took it and she ripped it up on the diagonal. From here down, she took my stencil and she stenciled white paper. So, pattern paper that we owned, custom paper that she made using my stencil. You gotta give it up when the girl is that good. You just, ha you gotta give props. You have to, you have to acknowledge creativity. You just have to. She just took white paper and just kept going. Then you can kind of see where there's a line there. Who cares? She just kept lining the stamp, uh, the stencil up and stenciling until all the white paper was filled. And then she tore it. She's got a little piece of green separating the two. That's a beautiful layout. No SMS girl, Mary Lynn, you can't have it. <laughs> Everybody thought that this was a piece of manufactured paper. Well, it was. Claire manufactured it. <laughs> so. All right. Well, it was kind of a weird YouTube. Oh, and I probably have ink all over my face. Who knows? Well, if I do, uh, I can't tell. Can you tell? Don't tell me. I'm going to go back <laughs> quickly before you can tell me there's ink all over my face. <laughs> It's kind of, oh, now I just made it worse. <laughs> kind of a weird YouTube, but, um, but it was a class nonetheless, and there definitely was technique in it. And it allows you to just take white paper and see what you can do. It's, it's empowering when you just take something so plain as white paper and make it something that when you pull those stencils off, you go, oh, isn't that the best feeling ever, ever, ever? Well, no, probably the best feeling ever, ever, ever is when you then give that card or that layout or that altered art piece or that little mini album or a junk journal album using all of this to somebody and you see them tear up. That's the best feeling ever when you see how much they appreciate what you made for them. I'm very grateful right now. I'm grateful that the fire trucks have stopped and that it, while a fire is very bad, it wasn't anything more serious than that. I don't know if you all remember, but there was a high school shooting out here at Saugus High School and two teenagers were, well, three, three children lost their lives, the shooter and the two teenagers. And Saugus High is graduating tonight and hearing all of those, it just gave me a pit in my stomach. And as much as I love you, I love SMS girl Katie and her son who is graduating. And I just had to be sure. So thank you for your, for your grace and your understanding. I could have stopped, but it is what it is, is what it is. So where are you going to find all of this great product? Well, the Lavinia inks you may be able to find at your local retailer, your shop local. The... Stencils are only going to be here and the verses are only going to be here because they're exclusive to us. The mirror plate you may be able to find at your local retailer as well. And when I say local, I mean a small mom and pop shop. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So if you can if you can support them, I encourage you to do so. And if you don't have a small mom and pop shop, we understand. Then go online and find a small mom and pop retailer like we are who's online. All right, you guys, it's me. It's long. It is what it is. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for supporting me all of these years. Thank you for contributing to, to these YouTubes and making them what they are and allowing me to be here every week in front of you, sharing me and my family and, and, and what it is I love so much. Can't get much better than that, can it?
All right. Bye, everybody.